So in this lesson, we're going to go over how to map out your course. So the first thing you're going to do is you need to describe what will your student have when they finish your course. So when you write this out, this is what your student is actually purchasing from you is the result. So go ahead and write out. I've uh, included a downloadable PDF that you can print out and go through this, uh, this little exercise with me. So go ahead and write out what will your student have when they finish your course? What's the result that they're uh, buying your course for? Once you have that, then next we're going to go through the three major steps to get the result that your course is advertising. So it could be more than three steps, but typically three steps, people feel like that's achievable. That's something that I could, you know, start and actually finish when it's 18 steps or 20 steps or even more. Um, sometimes you feel like, you know what, I could start it, but I probably won't actually achieve the result that, uh, of what I want. So go ahead and fill out the three major steps that it's going to take to achieve the result that you're advertising that your course will solve or provide. Okay, after you've done that, then step three is you're going to write out all of these sub steps for step one. So step one is typically a large step, but there's multiple sub steps within it. So you can go ahead and write that out. And this is basically just helping you get organized with your thought process of how you're going to teach this. Then in step four, you're going to write out all of the sub steps for step two. And for step five, you're going to write out all, all of the sub steps for step three. So basically you're going to have the three major steps and then you're going to have these sub steps or the, the little things that need to have that need to happen in order to achieve the result um, that you're teaching. And then lastly, in step six, this is where now you can create the title of your course. So you're going to create the title based on what your students will have when they finish your course and the steps involved to get the, that end result. So as you go through, now you're crystal clear on what your course offers and the steps that it takes, and you can create a title based on that. So if you haven't already, download the PDF, print it out, and fill this out so you can, you can have all of your steps organized and ready to go. Um, so as we get further into this and you start recording your course, you'll know exactly what you need to record. So that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next.